Welcome everyone to Advent of Code. Day two question is going to be out here in two and a half minutes. This one is being done live on my stream at twitch.tv slash shirkadev. Feel free to check me out there. Um, this one today, the day two on Thursday happens to kind of collide with my stream that goes on Wednesday nights. So I to make these a little bit longer to uh, stream my Advent of Code solving. Uh, we're doing these for the first few that my streams overlap with. I don't know if we will be doing the later ones. Um, as I get to the later problems and questions, or that I get to the point where my code might actually be useful for people to kind of use as I stream to kind of do their own solutions. Um, Eric has been amazing with letting us stream and do videos on these. Um, but of course, the leaderboard, uh, you don't want people kind of giving answers right away. So with the later ones, the ones I might actually be hitting the leaderboards on, I might not be streaming. But for right now, I didn't wait. I will be doing some of these uh, live on stream, but two minutes or just under two minutes now. I'll catch you guys up when this timer is about to run out and we will start day two's problem. All right, six seconds here. Code's already, it's up. I got my input ready. We're gonna go ahead, grab the input right away, copy it over, uh, and then we're going to read this question. Uh, now you need to figure out how to pilot this thing. Okay, so we're going off of day one, right? Um, it seems like the submarine can take a series of commands like forward one, down one, or up three. Forward X increases the horizontal position by X units, down increases the depth. A, they both are a depth, okay. Now that since you're on a submarine, down and up affect your depth, and they may be the opposite result of what you may expect. The submarine seems to be already planned on course for puzzle inputs. You should probably figure out where it's going. For example, K, um, depth will start at zero, Steps would go horizontal five, add forward, uh, up, down, forward. Okay, so let's just kind of get to the idea of where we're going. Calculate the horizontal position and depth you would have after the following planned course. What do you get? Uh, what do you get if you multiply your final horizontal and final depth? Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So the doing this is actually not too bad. We're gonna give a list of um, inputs here. All we're gonna do is we're just going to go through them line by line. So for string S in inputs, we're gonna go through all our kind of straight up our list of uh, directions here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and split them. Uh, we're gonna split the direction or split the instruction. Um, and we're gonna split it on the spaces because it looks like it is a command space number. So we're gonna have, this is the instructions, or this is the instruction um, parts, I guess the better name for it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a switch statement here on what the instruction, first instruction part is. Whoops. So if this first instruction part is up, I think it's all lowercase, right? So we're gonna have an up, we're going to have a down, and we're going to have a forward, I think is the other one. Yeah, whoops. So here are our three different possible commands. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna have a two variables up here. We're gonna keep track of our depth, which is starting at zero, and we're gonna keep tracking of our horizontal is what it calls it. So we'll do the same thing. And all we gotta do now is if we go up, we gotta increase our horizontal by the integer parsed of the second part of the instruction. So the instructions part index one. Otherwise the depth will be decremented by this value if it's down, but if it's forward, we'll be increasing it by our horizontal. And then we can call our lap of depth times horizontal to get what they want as the answer. Go ahead and run this. And we get, oh, these need to be longs because multiplication gonna give us rounding uh, errors. Or it's gonna, it's gonna loop around. So we're this too long, that way we get an actual number that's not then looped around, unless it has again. Uh, why is it looping around? Oh no, it is gonna be that, because if we go down further, uh, I think I have this backwards. Down is increasing our depth, up is uh, decreasing our depth. That would make more sense. That's what it should be. I was wrong, but that's right. There we go, haha. <laughs> Part two. Um, 
Based on your calculations, the plan course doesn't seem to make any sense. You find the submarine manual uh, and discover that the process is actually slightly more complicated. In addition to the horizontal position and depth, you need to also track the third value, aim, which starts at zero. The commands uh, also mean something entirely different than your first thoughts. Down x increases your aim by x units, up x increases your aim by x units, forward x does two things. It increases your horizontal position by x units, and increases your depth by your aim multiplied by x. Okay. Uh, so you know, submarine down and up are the opposite of what I'd expect. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is the part I missed up right before. Um, four horizontal, because your aim is zero, depth does not change. Down five to as five to your aim, resulting in a value of five. Okay. So now we need to do the same process. Um, I'm gonna copy this because I like having both parts. So we're actually just gonna copy this whole thing. But instead we're going to have um, our depth and horizontal still be here, reset to zero. What is actually, we also need a third value of aim is starting at zero. So now up is actually increasing the aim. Uh, X, sorry, down decreases the aim. Um, down will increase our aim. This horizontal stays the same, but now we need to also calculate our depth from this, and it's just gonna be the same thing, but aim multiplied by that value. And if we give this a run, we'll get a part two with a much higher number. And if we submit this, we get our answer. Hey, there we go. Both parts. So now that both parts are done, let's go back through and explain what this is actually doing and how this code is actually working. So for this question, the TLDR is that we have a, we are in a submarine and our submarine is moving based upon a set of series of instructions. The instructions have kind of uh, three variants. There's a forward instruction, an up instruction, and a down instruction. Each instruction also has a value or a number assigned to it to to tell you kind of how much of that instruction it's, it's doing, or the distance, I guess, um, it's doing. For the first part, the, uh, the up instruction is simply decreases our depth because the depth is the amount underwater. So if you're going up, you're actually lowering your depth. You're going at a smaller depth, so it's decreasing. It's just think of a submarine, depth as you go up decreases. So uh, the up instruction, we need to decrease our depth, the down instruction, we need to increase our depth, and the forward instruction, we need to increase our horizontal movement. So to do that, so we just simply take our inputs, go line by line, through in a for loop. We break up that instruction into the two distinct parts, the first part being our actual um, instruction of up, down, or forward, which we handle with this switch statement here. Um, and then based upon what instruction that is giving us, we then in the case of up here, we decrease our depth by that second part of the full instruction, which is the numerical value assigned to it. Um, and then we handle each of these three cases. And at the very end, we simply increase or we output our depth times our horizontal as the question asks. And there we go. Part two is the basically the same. The only difference is that the up and down no longer directly affect our depth. Instead, they manipulate this aim variable that is kind of I guess adjusting where we're pointed, but in this case, just know that it's doing the same exact thing as depth, it's just changing this variable instead. The actual depth variable is then being changed based upon our aim multiplied by that instruction value, um, that numerical value that's assigned to the forward instruction. So, pretty easy today, nothing too complex. Um, good kind of intro to breaking up an instruction into parts and testing all that, but uh, there we go. So, anyways. That is day two complete. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be ready for day three tomorrow. That's all I have for you guys today. Peace out.